Okay, so we got this airplane here. I just need to show you some things. And you see in the wing here, it's just with the SolidWorks tools surfacing. And you got some errors in the surfacing. And here also. So pretty much this is looks like a sharp edges connected with wrong way. I'm gonna avoid this by just going to make a new wing with the bar surfacing. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. Yeah, let's create a new wing for it. First, I'm just going to go to the bar surfacing and create a box. Hit apply and I'm going to scale it. Then I'm going to delete this face. Move it until it's touched the original wing and from the right plane also. Okay, so as you see here, you just have something like that. And I'm going to insert an edge here just to fit the things together. This one is like that and pretty much it looks like that and for this one I'm just going to add a line here by pressing the A key and let's connect these together let's connect them like that this point and this one together and the same here okay so we got this now this is alone now and goes up to the second let's move this a little side here and go to the inverse reference I'm going to select this face and this one and it's okay let's now connect these together it's fairly look the same if you just looked here we can add it later so let's go ahead and press on this edge and I can't easily extrude it then constrain to the edge Okay, so this should be constrained as a tangency constraint. We can edit and go back to see what it's, to see how it looks like. So first, just going to select this point and make to the vertex. Then this edge here is creased so if I just crease it with the hard edge it's gonna give me the same creasing now I can just move this like that now I can take these and make some extrudes let me just convert Turn off this perspective. I'm gonna go back and undo the creasing. Now get these faces and extrude. Now we got a little edge here. I'm gonna insert it twice. Ok, 
Okay, then until here, let me just move this a little. We got this all verses or looks like that a little bit up. Plus we have this one creased. So you're gonna give me something like that. Then it's from here, it's just a little wider, then it's go to the thinner from here. So let's do this. Maybe from these faces. I'm gonna take these and go a little up. Okay, I can easily also crease this to give me a little whatever shape I wanted. And now I can fully crease this. I have this also creased a little. So let's just give it about 35 or something. Maybe you can increase this a little here. Alright, from the tools here I can go to the power surf sync, go to the options and the subtly pushback here I can just decrease it and it should give me better view. Modify this a little here. Okay, and then these guy here are just need to be a little lower. in here that would be better okay so everything looks great here let's assume it looks good you can easily go and convert let me just check on that and we got something here maybe this should be a little creased soft selection and get a little down I can easily extrude this one by selecting this edge and go to the extrude give it a little extrude maybe 5% is good to apply select both three lines and give them a little crease maybe about 55 or, or something like that and then I'm going to scale it a little here. So just for showing that we can do something like that. Now let's make sure everything looks good here. This is to edge and all the vertices are to the edge.
Okay. And like this. Alignment and go to flatten in Y. Go ahead and get this part converted. Let's press on convert. Now I'm going to paint it. Got some open edges here. And got some weird reflection here. Just go back and fix that. All right, so if I just inserted an edge here. I just deleted this line should give me a little better results yeah this looks good now and everything looks good here no oven edges and if you look at here you're gonna see the bad reflections and wrong connecting which is not exist here. Got everything pretty good and pretty smooth. Now I can just modify on here. Let's skip this part. Alright, so it's pretty much looks good. Now the curvature display here. About this gutted parts can go easily from the top plan and I can go ahead and throw some line here Like that surface, it's opposite this one. Now I do 
just need to remove this small part here or maybe keep this okay now you have the cutted boards Also had something here from the top plan again. Insert a line here. And we can just do some manual rectangle. Surface trim. Okay. Then go to the tools or insert future move and copy we have this board here updated okay something like that The nice part here that you can easily change the whole shape of the wing with some movements. Something like that and it is still constrained. I can get these vertices and change the whole shape. 